I'm Amy, thank you for tuning in. Um, as the Bampathon has just started, I've decided to do a TBR video and to give some recommendations as well for people who might decide to take part. Um, I'll link in the description um, so you can find out more and watch the organisers' videos. Um, but basically, Vampathon is a readathon that lasts just over a week and there is a bingo board to complete. So you can either read a row on the bingo board, you can read um, a diagonal, or you can try and read everything on the bingo board. It's quite relaxed, so I think you can use books um, to meet multiple prompts um, and things like that. So I'll let you know what I'm planning to read and then I'll go through the rest of the board and give you a few tips as well. I have the board in front of me because my memory is not that good. Um, so I've decided to set myself quite a challenging TBR pal for this one because I'm accidentally reading three books at once. Um, so I want to finish those three books and then read two extra books this week, which I think I should be able to do by Halloween. Um, so first I'm reading In Nightfall by Suzanne Young and that is a Lost Boys retelling that comes out in March next year. So far it's absolutely brilliant. The atmosphere is amazing. It has captured lots of things about the Lost Boys that I love. Now you know what we are. Now you know what you are. You'll never grow old, Michael. And you'll never die. But it's um, its own fresh take on it. So I'm using that for the A Book to Sink Your Teeth Into prompt um, at the top left of the board. I'm also reading These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling, which could meet a couple of prompts on the board, but I'm going for the Paranormal Supernatural Romance one for that. Um, I'm really enjoying that book. Um, it also could be used for the Blood is Used as Magic prompt further down the board, um, because there is um, potentially a witch using blood magic in the book. Um, next up, I'm also currently reading um, The Lighthouse by Alex Bell, which has a very creepy cover. So I'm using that for the gothic spooky book cover prompt on the top line. Um, so for the vampire book um, to movie prompt, I'm going for Bloody Fool for Love um, by William Ritter, which is a little bit of a stretch, but because it is a prequel to the Buffy TV show, I'm hoping that one will qualify. So I've decided that I'm just going to try and complete the top row of the bingo board. But I think that I'm going to, if I get to read any more in the week, um, I'm also going to try and tick off a couple of other prompts. So another book I really want to read um, is Waking the Witch by Rachel Burge. I've heard really good things about it and that it's based in Arthurian legend as well as being about witchcraft. So there are a couple of prompts about magic. So I may tick those off as well by reading that book. So I'm going to go through the rest of the board now and just give one or two recommendations per prompt. So if you're struggling to think of a book, um, hopefully this might help you out. So for a spooky middle grade, early this month, I read The Big Wolf Conspiracy um, by Dash Roberts and it was a super fun, spooky, entertaining middle grade book about a girl who is interested in conspiracy theories and stumbles across something outlandish happening in her own town. Um, I also really like Laurie and Lawrence's um, Fright Watch series, which would be a good one to tick that off. Next up for spooky graphic novel, I have to recommend Junji Ito. There are so many things you could choose from. I read Remina this month, which I really enjoyed. Um, probably not my favourite one. If you're looking to get into Junji Ito, I would recommend Uzumaki, which is a really long story, but um, because it's manga, it's quite a quick read. And um, I also really liked the Shiva anthology, if you'd like to give that a try. Next up, book with a gothic setting. There are so many you could choose for this one, but also my TBR for this month um, is Good Enough to Eat by Gina Blacksall, which is a Hansel and Gretel retelling set, obviously, in the woods. Um, so I thought that would be a really good choice if I managed to read any extra books. Books of Supernatural main character, you could have so many for this. Um, you could obviously go for witches, werewolves, vampires. Um, I, for this one, um, would probably go for Bloody Fall for Love, this one, which is the Spike prequel that I mentioned, um, obviously a vampire main character. Horror book, um, I do have Horror Store on my TBR for this month, so Grady Hendrix is a great author that will help you to take this off. I've also recently got in Stephen Graham Jones's books, um, I really enjoyed The Last Final Girls. Um, I'm currently reading um, My Heart is a Chainsaw on Audible, um, so those would both be good choices to take that one off. Blood is used as magic. As I mentioned, these witches don't burn um, alludes to the fact that there might be blood magic, so I think you could have that one. Um, for a thriller or murder mystery, um, I've got Home Before Dark on my list for this month. I don't think I'm going to get to it, um, but somebody like Riley Sager or Lucy Foley um, would be great authors to tick up for this one. Um, a book that frightens you. So many things frighten me. <laughs> Where to start? Um, but I, I've got Cirque Berserk, which is a novella um, for this one. Um, 
and because it's got a clown on the cover I thought that that would go for a good one that frightens me. You could also try some Stephen King or as I mentioned Grady Hendrix and Stephen Graham Jones would probably be good authors that would be um, I've written some scary books for that one. Um, for Blood on the cover I've gone for My Heart is a Chainsaw um, which I'm listening to on Audible um, so hopefully I'll get to that um, to finish that by the end of the week. Read a book in the dark. You, I, th I guess you could have anything for that if you're reading at night. But if you want to take it literally and go for a book with dark in the title, um, Lurking in the Dark Horror Tube Anthology has just come out. I have got a story in it called Bad Moon Rising. It's about werewolves. Um, so if you want to take the word dark, that might be a fun way to meet that prompt. Um, witchy Vibes, I am reading a couple of witchy books, hopefully this week. Um, Waking the Witch by Rachel Burge, as I mentioned, and These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling. You could also try Hex by Julia Tufts, which is sort of a fun feminist take on witchcraft. And George Bowers has also written a brilliant book about witches that you could try as well. And um, for set in school, you've got plenty of options. You could go for things like Vampire Academy. Um, you could also um, read Crave um, or you could read something like Winley's Kill Die by Cynthia Murphy if you want to add a thriller into the mix. So that is it for my Vampathon TBR and Rex. Um, please let me know in the comments um, if you're joining in with Vampathon, what you're planning to read and if there's a prompt that you are struggling with, I'd love to help out. As I mentioned, I'll also be linking in the description to the creators of Vampathon's account. So if you'd like to find out a little bit more about the readathon, then that would be the place to do it. Thank you so much for watching. As ever, likes and subscribes are really appreciated and hope I will catch you in the next video. Bye.